From Edison's first recording to today's streaming apps, this is a journey through 150 years of music playback. Thomas Edison's phonograph marked the birth of recorded music. This revolutionary device used tinfoil cylinders to capture and replay sound, making it possible for the first time in history to preserve musical performances for future listening. Switching from tinfoil to wax cylinders in 1878 dramatically improved recording quality and durability. These wax cylinders could be played multiple times without significant degradation, making them the first practical medium for commercial music distribution. Emil Berliner's gramophone introduced flat disc records, which were easier to mass produce and store than Edison's cylinders. This innovation laid the foundation for the modern record industry and made music more accessible to the general public. By 1922, 78 revolutions per minute had become the standard speed for gramophone records. This standardization allowed for about three to four minutes of music per side, which influenced song structure and became the template for the modern pop song format. The introduction of electrical recording using microphones and amplifiers marked a quantum leap in audio fidelity. This technology captured a much wider frequency range and dynamic range, making recording sound more lifelike than ever before. When Columbia Records introduced the 33 RPM long playing record, it revolutionized music consumption. With over 20 minutes of music per side, artists could now create cohesive album experiences. Stereophonic sound brought a new dimension to music listening. By separating audio into left and right channels, stereo records created immersive soundscapes that placed listeners in the middle of the musical performance. Philips's compact cassette revolutionized personal music consumption. Its portability and recordability spawned the mixtape culture, allowing people to create personalized compilations and share music in ways never before possible, fundamentally changing social music experiences. The boombox transformed urban culture, allowing people to share their music in public spaces. From street corners to parks, these portable stereos became symbols of musical identity and community gathering points. The Sony Walkman didn't just play music, it transformed how we experience it. For the first time, music became truly personal and portable, creating private soundtracks to daily life and establishing the foundation for our modern mobile music culture. The Walkman's lightweight headphones became ubiquitous in cities worldwide. This created a new social dynamic where people could be physically present but mentally transported by their personal music, changing urban social interactions. The compact disc ushered in the digital age of music. With perfect sound reproduction, no degradation from playing, and the ability to skip tracks instantly. CDs offered unprecedented convenience and quality, setting new standards for audio fidelity. By 1985, CD player prices dropped significantly, making digital audio accessible to mainstream consumers. The superior sound quality and convenience of CDs began to rapidly replace vinyl records and cassettes in home audio systems. Sony's Discman and other portable CD players extended the personal music experience pioneered by the Walkman into the digital age. Despite their bulk and skipping, they offered unprecedented audio quality for mobile listening. Digital audio tape brought CD quality recording to portable devices. Though primarily used by professionals and audiophiles, DAT demonstrated the potential for high-quality digital recording and playback in compact formats. The MP3 format revolutionized music distribution by compressing audio files to a fraction of their original size while maintaining acceptable quality. This breakthrough made digital music sharing over the internet practical for the first time. The iPod's launch with the slogan 1,000 Songs in Your Pocket revolutionized portable music. Its intuitive scroll wheel interface and massive storage capacity made digital music collections truly portable. Apple's iTunes Store launched in 2003 offering legal digital music downloads for 99 cents per song. This provided a legitimate alternative to file sharing and began the transition from physical to digital music sales, fundamentally changing how artists distribute and monetize their music. 
Spotify pioneered the music streaming revolution, offering unlimited access to millions of songs for a monthly fee. This model shifted music from ownership to access, radically changing how people discover and consume music. Bluetooth speakers started becoming popular in 2011. While the technology had been around for a while, this is when companies began to focus on creating portable, convenient speakers that offered impressive sound quality which led to their widespread adoption. Streaming services introduce sophisticated recommendation algorithms that analyze listening habits to suggest new music. Features like Spotify's Discover Weekly and Apple Music's For You created personalized radio stations, basically changing how people discover new artists and songs. Social media platforms like TikTok revolutionize music promotion and discovery. Short video clips featuring music snippets could make songs go viral overnight, creating new pathways to success for artists and profoundly changing how the music industry approaches marketing and distribution. The growing popularity of large Bluetooth speakers in the early 2020s can be attributed to several key factors that have evolved from the original compact speaker market. While early Bluetooth speakers were all about portability, the larger models focus on delivering a more robust and immersive audio experience, especially for social gatherings and outdoor use. AI-generated music represents the latest frontier in music technology. Machine learning algorithms can now compose original music, create personalized soundtracks, and even collaborate with human artists. This technology promises to democratize music creation while raising questions about creativity and authorship.